Well, it seems Black Myth Wukong has caught the eyes of game journalists everywhere because now PC Gamer is jumping on the hate bandwagon over the game devs of something that was mistranslated in an IGN article. Well, about four hours, uh, I'm seeing this after it was posted. My first two hours of Black Myth Wukong were a flurry of demanding boss fights, unbelievably pretty characters, and a surprisingly sparse world. This is supposed to be the new Souls-like game that's coming out that isn't from software, it is from a ex-developers from Tencent. If you're not one of the many Souls-like friends who've rocketed Black Myth Wukong to the top of your most wish list games, then you've probably seen it in passing. It's an action RPG loosely adapting the 15th century novel Journey to the West, the latest of many of the adaptations, including Enslaved Odyssey to the West. You play as the Monkey King himself, Sun Wukong, Taking on the world with his magical staff, it's only the second game by indie outfit Game Science, founded in 2014 by X10 said devs. But, but, you have to remember that there was a 2023 IGN report detailing the history of sexism from one of its founders as a widely company culture of misogyny. Yes, the Chinese dev cares not of your western ideology being pushed upon them they could care absolutely two craps about this by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel already do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and also if you ever want to help out the channel there's super fan chats there's everything that you can do by jumping on the membership i even have a patreon out there if you want to help support the channel. Now, it is very interesting that they turn around and use the 2023 IGN report on this game because after it, the discovery of this report and a lot of Chinese creators that we actually took a look at here on the channel, their tweets over this article got locked to reply. All the replies got locked out and it has now been community noted. And here's the community note on their Twitter post. The sexist quotes shown in the article are poorly translated. Accurate translations show the statements being vulgar, but definitely not sexist. IGN reporting on these fallacies, unverified claims as though it was fact is yellow journalism, which CNs were made to combat community notes. That's exactly what the point of community notes are. They're not showing the true situation of what this game was or who game science actually is. It's westernized journalists in this circumstance trying to bring sexism into the workplace of a Chinese market that has nothing to do with what goes on in the West. Now, IGN putting up a new article, very much the same as what PC Gamer is, almost almost tying them perfectly but if you scroll down in this article our last report or about our report from last year by the person that wrote it one of the two people last year we published a comprehensive report on ign detailing a number of sexist and inappropriate remarks made by multiple developers of black myth wukong including those leadership roles at Game Science. As of the publication of this preview, Game Science has yet to provide any response or statement addressing a report of their past remarks. Why would they bother with what IGN has to say at this point? The IGN is no longer well respected in the community. They're falling down the Kotaku rabbit hole very quickly, especially when they run defense for games or games development narratives like Sweet Baby Inc. IGN is has become a horrible place to get your news at this point. Like Mike Michael, I have the opportunity of seeing Black Myth Wukong at Summer Game Fest, though my appointment was admittedly a bit a little strange, I was told as part of my invitation that Game Science would have a statement related to the reports of sexism. I arrived at the appointment and saw the game as planned, but when I asked for a promised statement, 
They're demanding a statement. I was told by a PR representative, Game Science is focused on the demo during play days and will only answer questions related to gameplay, which is a good stance to take as a game developer. They want to make claims like this, which they know are false at that point. Why are they even going to bother entertaining a statement at this point M mitchell's preview doesn't need my validation but for what it's worth i fully back everything he written here black myth and wukong looks like it'll be a great game it's gorgeous with snappy combat fantastic monster design and some really interesting boss fights it's also true that several of the people who are making it have made disparaging remarks to women poorly poorly translated now, because IGN didn't want to pay for the translations and doesn't seem to be interested either in retracting their past statements or in supporting the numerous women who are being harassed in online conversations. Who, who's no, women are being harassed about this game? I call absolute bullshit on that. Show me the harassment. Don't just make another claim in an article in a statement here, IGN, without showing the proof of it. There's none here. One last note, I didn't see any women or femme-coded characters in the demo. Oh no, you didn't see femme-coded characters in a demo? Oh my god, what... Uh, I'm sorry, they're making a game about a Chinese legendary myth. The last thing on their minds is to give you representation of something that isn't owed to anybody. If you want to, if you're a woman and you want to play a game, Pick up the game and damn well play it. Don't sit there and say, oh, I don't see women in this game. I didn't, oh, I didn't see the developers. I didn't see all the people that are, work on their staff. I didn't see that women design this game. This is absolute BS coming out of IGN and is absolutely disparaging and mocks women's rights everywhere. They are a global powerhouse when it comes to women and women will take what they need. But to sit there and complain that a game or a game developer that's in a Eastern culture, uh, in a Chinese culture, versus the Westernization of video games? No, that's not how this works. They're X ten cent devs. You know, I, I read a story, I didn't even cover it. There was a story where X Blizzard devs, there's seven of them, they joined together and people when journalists were writing stories saying not a single one of those seven people are women except for the dog in the studio they're all guys having fun and getting together it's like i go out there for a beer with my my guy friends do i always have to bring my wife along no that's not how this works you know people are allowed to be people and at this point now all they see is if women aren't in the forefront of everything they, they sit there and they complain about it and they get pissy about it. I don't see what's the point of that. You can pick up the game and anybody can play it. And why isn't that good enough? Why is that not good enough for anybody to pick up a game and play it and enjoy the games? Let us fall in love with the games that we want to enjoy. Don't sit there and look at the background of every one of these uh every one of these game developers because every single game developer if you look in the background of them you will find a reason to hate them and that is more what this is they're finding a reason to bring them down and to hate them and to disparage and then obviously this game's going to come out and the next thing they're going to say is if you're playing this game you're a sexist monogenous bigot and you shouldn't play this game. This game is getting so much hate, it reminds me of Hogwarts Legacy last year. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some, some sort of statement at this point from J.K. Rowling saying, oh, hey, yeah, I helped with this or something. Because then people will just lose their absolute minds. Because that's where we are nowadays with this stuff. It's absolutely disgusting. Game journalists are absolutely pathetic. Having to go down this route, women... They have empowering skills and they empower each other every day. But sitting here and telling that a game developer needs to do better in this circumstance, when they probably are really doing that and these are completely unfounded allegations coming out of IGN and PC Gamer now, it's absolutely disgusting that we have to sit here and talk about this day in, day out. Anyway, I'm your proud King Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you again very soon. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.